become a, a legacy in any way and, uh, and bring people together. I think it's brought a lot of people together. And, yeah. we brought, I brought my whole, my whole cast over from Vegas to, for Mitch because he asked me to and he's just, I'm, honor, I'm, I'm truly honoured to do it. So, yeah. Bearing in mind the amount and the quality of people here tonight, it wouldn't have been difficult to get people involved. Amy was so well loved. Yeah, I mean, I, I was a massive fan of her and I love, I love what she did. I love, you know, I think that person, personal stuff aside, her music will continue on forever and I think it's a world class, one of those voices that's just so immediately, you hear it on the radio and it's immediately world class. And you just was like, what is this? You know, even before we knew who she was, you know. I was like that when I heard Rehab and I was like, oh, you know, in America I was like, in my car I just turned it up and I was like. Oh. So that, is that your overriding memory of, of Amy then? I mean, you must have loads of stories. Well, I think, I just think that she's just truly one of those artists that, uh, for a long, long time, it's immediately well class. Obviously, Adele writes beautiful, beautiful songs, and things, but Amy just had an edge about her and just an honesty about her. It was just, uh, and I think that really is that. You know, I've been doing it a long time. I think if you continue, you, if you sing from your heart and you're vulnerable, and uh, you know, being a man, like you've still got to be vulnerable. You know, when you write and stuff. And I think she was very vulnerable and honest when she wrote, and I think that's why, uh, that's why everybody's here today. You know, it's just truly, truly. Uh, like an organic, real artist. What's the overriding legacy? Is it her music or things like the foundation, her sort of uh, humanitarian? I think her music is always going to be that's that's bedrock. But I think you know, me and Mitch are friends, you know, and I know that he's, he's that he cares for his daughter more than anything. And some people might not understand that the inner workings of keeping. Amy's music going, one of those things is to create a, a foundation and Mitch has to bite the bullet sometimes and through the, you know, through the comments and realise that he wants Amy's music and to, to continue on and, and this foundation will continue and, and it will keep it going. And that's why I have a lot of respect for Mitch. Thank you very much. Plus he's a black cab, the original black cabbie and I love black cabbie so. Thank you very much.